What is up my original bacon and welcome to some Call of Duty Infinite Warfare just to go with this team of the video. So team of this video is the CWL Dallas Pool Pools were revealed and was held and it was fairly entertaining I have to admit. Some of them were actually quite good and it's great to see Pocket uh, back in the COD scene if it, even if it's just for this it was just really good to see him because just I, I don't know why I just love seeing Pocket commentating he's just so good also I loved when Mr. X and Courage were breaking down the pools and the teams in it I thought that was very insightful for most hardcore competitive Call of Duty players so the rules for the pools were first second third and fourth teams in North America were all split up so pool A were, had first NA team, pool B, second NA team, pool C, third NA team, fourth NA team went into pool D. Then the rest of the pools, it had the first or second EU team and the fifth or sixth NA team to take the second spot in the pools. Then the third or fourth EU teams or seventh or eighth NA teams took the third, C, third spot in the pools. First or second from the Apex region, or fifth from the EU team, or even ninth from the NA team, took second, the second last spot, which was fourth in the pool, leaving the fifth slot open for four teams to come through the open bracket and to play. I actually found this way, the way they've done it now way better than they used to. I think it was just randomized the. the last few tournaments that they did so now the top four don't have to play each other so the likes of phase and rise nation don't have to play each other um optic don't have to play phase straight away and all that so early so it's it's kind of better just builds up to it. right so let's get into it so pool a optic gaming took first spot pool b e united took second in pool b well, took first in Pool B, but they're second in NA. Pool C was taken by FaZe Clan, and finally, Rise Nation took Pool D. As in first, well, they were their fourth in pool in pools. That, that, yeah. yeah. So let's start with Pool A. And who was picked? No other than the famous E Classico. Yes. Team Envious versus Optic Game to start it off. What a way to start it off. Even even Maven just I'll try and put a clip of Maven if I can, if I can find it again. I fucking I remember where I was and then I can't remember where I was when I viewed the video, if that makes sense. I don't know. I think it was on YouTube. I think I I, I watched it on MLG.tv, I think it was. I actually can't even remember where I watched it. That is terrible. So then it went to third spot in the pool A, which we had red reserve. So this is basically kind of, as Pocket said, the leftovers in EU. And probably one of the toughest squads in EU so far, because they came second in the first 2k. In the last two weeks, they came second in 1 2k and first in the second 2k. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. So then... The fourth team in Pool A was Tainted Minds from the APEC region. Tainted Minds cannot get a break. They came back from a 2-0 deficit to win both best game of fives in the final of the APEC region. And I, I don't even know what to say. Like To have Envy, Optic and Tainted Minds red reserve already is crazy. Is a really, really hard for Tainted Minds to get out of. It's hard for Optic and, and Envy to be honest. Red Reserve could put it up to them to be honest. But the Envy and Optic will draw the most viewers. And will probably be the first one to play. Probably. I can't see Red Reserve doing anything. But I can see them giving Envy a run for their money. It might go to game 5. I'm not actually fully sure. I'll put my predictions in the next one once we get uh, closer in the week. In Pool B, first was taken by E United. The second spot went to Team Infused. 
this is a fairly hard team to beat, Team Infused went so many games in Game 5s in Atlanta I think it was but if they play the way they played in ESWC then they will they'll either beat E United or give them a run for their money third spot goes to Cloud9 yes the inconsistent 9 team wow they can really give Infused and E United a good matches maybe even beating them if they play how everyone knows they can play or they'll probably just show up and get we get the cloud nine that we've gotten for the last few events and be knocked out straight away more or less fourth and final spot in pool b goes to mind freak it's a very good pool it it'd be hard to kind of predict this one because it's a good pool <laughs> basically infused have played and gave NA teams great runs and infu infused Jesus have showed they were they are probably one of the best teams in EU to keep up with the NA teams on the same level like Mind Freak have put up games against Rise and E6 in Atlanta and I think I think it was anyway. So hopefully it's a good it's a good for Mind Freak if they can beat the likes of Team Infused and E United which don't think they will. They might meet, beat uh, Infused or go to game 5. Moving to Pool C, with FaZe Clan taking first spot in Pool C, we had Luminosity Gaming taking second spot. And have no fear, Luminosity have Saints back. Woo! Way! Back third goes to Team Elevate EU. An EU team that could do something if they keep their heads together there. They, I can't even remember now who's on the team. That that's actually shocking. I'll have to look it up in a, in a few minutes just to see. But they they need to keep their heads. I know that for sure. They need to keep their heads just to stay in it. Next fourth spot went to Fnatic. Tommy making a great team around him, and don't count these guys out because they could do some upsets and. The likes of Team Elevate and Luminosity and of course FaZe Clan, they could really do upsets against them. Jumping straight into Pool D, we have 1st Rise, 2nd Splice, 3rd E6 and Panda Gaming in 4th. E6 have looked good in the 2Ks, but they are kind of online so you don't really, kind of can't take them into mind, but you kind of have to, if that makes sense. Splice should be one of the best teams coming out of EU. With Madcap, Jord, Bantz and Zero, it's uh, uh, just no words can describe how good this team should be on paper. It is exceptionally good. I feel like this could be one of the easiest groups out of the four pools. Only teams that could make some noise could be Panda Gaming if they go, if they play the way they did against Optic Gaming, bring them to a game five. They could do it, but really think that Rise and Splice should be a tough one to call and it's kind of really it CWL Dallas Open takes place March 17th to 19th if you want to write that down and it's for $200,000 so this concludes the pool for the CWL Dallas and I'll have my predictions out sometime next week I do hope you guys like favorite and subscribe for more esports news I'll try and get them out as much as I can also have some more commentaries coming out this week and next week so guys I hope you do like favorite and subscribe and peace